Tonight, our coverage continues remembering Buddy Cianci. The former mayor of Providence died today at the age of 74. We first told you about his death this morning shortly after it happened. Cianci dominated Rhode Island politics for parts of four decades before serving time in, for corruption. He presided over the revitalization of Providence during two stints in office. And Cianci was first elected mayor back in 1974 and ran successful re-election bids during the next three decades. Most recently made an unsuccessful comeback bid for mayor of Providence in 2014, losing to Jorge Alorza. CNC is known for spearheading projects like the Providence Place Mall, the creation of Water Place Park, and is also credited with renovating the Roger Williams Zoo. His last public appearance was at Providence City Hall back in November when his official mayoral portrait was unveiled. He talked about those accomplishments and how he made sure they were showcased in his portrait. This book is called Providence Renaissance, and it's uh, it, it has a, a picture of the Performing Arts Center on it, which is something we were very much involved in back in 1979 that we saw that one of the theater they wanted to tear down. And I think that that's very important to place uh, this is part of the life of the city. And then, of course, you look to the right, there's a picture of the gondola, which symbolizes the moving of the rivers and the waterway. And you'll see a little thing that was sewn in there, which is very meaningful, which is the province of Bruins, which we brought here back uh, in the 90s. And then, of course, to the left is a picture of the skating. We could have put a lot of things in there, but we chose those are things that we chose. CNC's portrait is in between the portraits of former mayors uh, Walter Reynolds and Joseph Paolino. Now new at 530, our in-depth coverage continues at the State House with reaction from top leadership there. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi is live with what they're saying about the former mayor. Ted? Buddy Cianci was a force in Rhode Island politics for more than 40 years, and his death overshadowed all other official business at the State House today. My thoughts. From the governor to the speaker to the Senate president, state leaders united Thursday in paying tribute to the late Buddy Cianci. It's obviously a very sad day. My thoughts and prayers and condolences go out to his family and friends. Uh, but he was a great cheerleader for Rhode Island. And mostly I just want to send my condolences to his family and his friends. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello acknowledged Cianci's reputation was tarnished by his 2002 corruption conviction, but emphasized his love for Providence. He really made it the modern city that it is today and uh, the citizens of Providence owe him a debt of gratitude. He's a long-serving mayor and I recognize the controversy behind Buddy Cianci, but he really made the city of Providence a better place. Senate President Teresa Piva Weed agreed. There was perhaps no greater advocate for the city of Providence than Buddy Cianci and certainly the one thing that he can will always be will always be attributed to, to him is helping to launch Providence's renaissance. I think they threw away the mold on that one. Senate Majority Leader Dominic Ruggiero, who represents Providence, said he'd worked with Cianci since the 1980s. He was a controversial figure, but I think all in all, uh, when history judges him, they'll judge him as a, a tremendous advocate for the city of Providence. Now, Governor Mundo tells me she has no plans to lower the state's flags to half staff to honor CNC. She says Mayor Lorza has already done so in the city of Providence at City Hall and says that's the appropriate place for that to happen. Cranston Mayor Alan Fung has also lowered the flags in his city. Kelly, Mike. Ted, you said two of the leaders you talked to might have alluded to Buddy Cianci's felony convictions. How is that impacting today's remembrances? Well, Mike, I think a lot of state leaders are trying to st strike sort of a delicate balance here today. You know, for one thing, a lot of them were frequently the targets of criticism from Buddy Cianci on his radio show, so some of them could have mixed feelings personally. But more than that, I think they're trying to figure out how to balance the fact that he was undoubtedly one of the most legendary Rhode Islanders of the last half century and a major political figure with a lot of fans, uh, with the fact that, of course, he had those two felony convictions, one for public corruption, and they don't want to sort of overlook and ignore that. I think you also saw that in the statements from the congressional delegation, which were very short, fairly terse, compared to what you sometimes see when a famous political figure dies. But they all seem to agree that Buddy Cianci's love for Providence was deep and very heartfelt. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi live at the State House. Thanks for joining us, Ted. Thank you.